Moving on, Israel-U.S. ties seem to be at an all-time high these days, but not just among the diplomats, with American individuals now capable of taking advantage of an incredible visa opportunity. And here to tell us all about it is attorney Joshua Pex from the law offices of Cohen, Decker, Pex, and Brush. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. It's our pleasure. So, first of all, you know, tell me about the B-5 visa. So first of all, Israel isn't usually associated as a country of immigrants, unlike the United States or Australia, which have been receiving immigrants for many years. Israel, since its foundation, is defined as a Jewish democratic state. And usually immigration to Israel is for those who are eligible according to the law of return, making aliyah. But since 2019, May of 2019, because of the special relations between Israel and the United States, there's this new visa called the B-5 visa, which allows only American investors that will invest in the Israeli economy to move to Israel and to receive a visa together with their family members. And is there anything, you know, new in particular about the, about the B-5 visa since 2019? Well, since 2019, there's, there hasn't been anything new, but there haven't been many people that have taken an opportunity to use this visa. Maybe because of the corona pandemic, most people are in the mode of lockdown, maybe not of relocation. But still, this is an available visa, which many of the viewers maybe are not even aware of. So that's it. So who, who is this intended for? Who is the beneficiary of the B-5 visa primarily? So obviously, it's only Americans, and primarily for our non-Jewish friends, because obviously, if you're Jewish, or have family members who are Jewish, you'll be able to make aliyah. So this is mainly for Americans who are living in the United States, but maybe have always wanted and dreamt to come to Israel to do business here. This is a really great opportunity for them. Well, and also, I think maybe one of the bigger differences, of course, between a visa and aliyah is that aliyah is permanent, whereas a visa has a time limit. So what's, what's the time limit on, on this visa? How right, long does so, it last? So this visa, that's correct. This visa is usually given for two years at the beginning, and then it can be renewed up to five years. But if the business is still operative and keeps running, then it can be renewed for longer. And so it's practically indefinite. I mean, if you have a running business, there, there's no reason, it sounds like, to not reissue the visa, yes? Right. This visa is part of a mutual agreement between Israel and the United States. Israelis now can move also to the United States and get the E-2 investor visa, which can be renewed indefinitely. But in Israel, again, immigration is more strict. So at the moment, there is a time limit of five years, but it may be renewed longer. Wow. And, and what's the minimum investment? Because if this is an investor visa, I'm assuming that there is a minimum. Right. So this is the million dollar question. Right. And many people are asking, but the good news is that you don't need to invest a million dollars. The law actually doesn't say what's the amount of the investment really? required. It just has a substantial amount of money that will create business and improve the economy in general. So there's no amount. We recommend of a minimum of at least $100,000. Obviously, the more you invest, the better the business plan, the more opportunities you give the local Israeli workers, the better chance that you'll get the visa. So, you're, so if you employ some Israelis, start a business that shows some value to the Israeli economy, you're pretty much golden? Yes, I would say so. Everything, again, is very new. And because of the pandemic, we have not had many case studies. But this is the idea, to encourage Americans to come to Israel to invest in the economy. All right. Well. I can't say it often enough, but I think everybody should come here, especially if you're going to invest and, and create some, uh, some workflow here in exactly. Israel's economy. If you want to learn more about this amazing opportunity, please go to lawoffice.org.il forward slash en. Joshua Pex, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much.